Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. A gene variant initially uncovered in the genomes of people belonging to the old order Amish has been linked in a new study to lower levels of fibrinogen, a blood clotting factor, and low-density lipoprotein, LDL, cholesterol, both of which, when elevated, increase a person's risk of developing CARDI. The work, published today, December 2, in Science, not only connects a missense mutation in the enzyme coding gene beta-1, 4-galactosyltransferase-1, B4GALT1, with heart health in humans, but confirms the link in mice. Due to the small pool of genetic starting material, this population harbors less genetic diversity than the general population, meaning that variants that might disappear in larger groups can be maintained in old order Amish populations and therefore be easier to spot. The variant was associated with lower LDL cholesterol and was present in 6% of the Amish genomes but is much rarer outside the Amish community. The researchers found it in only 8 of 140,000 non-Amish genomes that are part of a National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute database. To assess whether the missense mutation in B4GALT was linked with overall cardiovascular health, the researchers shifted their focus outside the relatively healthy Amish population to the Geisinger Health System and the UK Biobank, two larger genomic databases. These individuals had decreased LDL, fibrinogen, and a 35% reduction in cardiovascular disease. When the researchers generated knock in mice with the B4 GALT variant, the animals also had lower LDL and fibrinogen. Before getting to the point of clinical relevance, we have to make sure that there are not any harmful side effects, associated with, having this variant, Montessor explains. Those people look perfectly healthy, but we are doing even more deep phenotyping right now to make sure that we are not missing anything. Another issue is that, it's not clear how we go from having this variant to having low LDL and low fibrinogen and protection from cardiovascular disease, she. The research team is trying to characterize that mechanism in animal models and human samples now. Montessor says they will keep working on it and hopefully someday we'll have some form of therapy based on this. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.